Welcome to webdevelopmentschool.com. Today we're going to learn about arrays and the for each statement. First start off by opening your editor in the browser. Browse to localhost. I mean local hosts. And we're going to open the file in C local disk web server Apache 2 htdocs index.php. You're going to switch them like this. You click the index.php file. If you do not have a web server installed, check one of the previous videos about installing a web server. Um, first, let me tell you something about arrays. Arrays is a kind of special variable which can contain multiple values. Like, say we got a variable name with a string value twan. We can also create a variable names, which is an array with multiple values like this. Now the variable names, names is an array with three values, a string value Twan, a string value Bart, and a string value Homer. And whenever we, we try to print a variable that's an array, we won't get this, we get array. And we can change that by doing print underscore r names then we can see the containment of the array and if you want to see it a little bit more clear you can paste a pre tag around it then you'll see a little bit more clear what's going on so we got an array with a couple of values and whenever we append some values we can see this in the browser. Now, maybe you have noticed these indexes, 0, 1, 2, 3. Well, maybe you ask, okay, why are there indexes in this array? Well, say we got the variable names and we want the to print the value of this one, Homer. We need to identify the position of that value with some kind of technique, and that's what an index is for. So we can always uh, find back the value with an index. And you can use that like this. Echo names 2. Notice these two brackets. Uh, 2 is the index. And it um, identifies with this one. So we're going to see Homer here. And whenever we go to name 0, we see the first one. So it's 0, 1, 2, 3. So when we use the three we see March so we can print the value of an uh, array by uh, announcing the index we want to print so when we say echo names it'll show us array but not the values because PHP doesn't know which value you would like to print so you can use those brackets and use a 0, a 1, a 2, or a 3, a 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on, to see the value. But it's important to know that whenever you want to print a whole array, you can use the pre tag, that's an HTML tag, and that'll, combined with the print R function, you're able to see more visually what, what uh, the array is containing. So we see names is an array and it contains between these two parentheses uh, the index 0 has twan, the z uh, index 1 has the value Bart and so on and so on. An also interesting thing about arrays is that uh, the way we created the array here, names is array and then between, between these two parentheses the value is separated by a comma. We can also do it a little bit different. We can also say that's method one. We can also say names is array. So we declare, dec declare this variable names as an array and we append it like this. Now we say, all right, names is, an ar is a variable and it's an array. And with these two empty brackets, we can assign a value to it. So it's going to be appending a new value to that variable. So in this stage, name is only containing Twan. And now Bart and March 
and now all of them. We can even then go like this. So this is also a way to uh, append values to an array. And we can even um, say the index here is 0, 1, 2, 3. Um, that's generated by PHP. If you do not declare an index, it'll just use a num numeric value and um, high it up by one every time you append a value. But you can also um, declare your own indexes like uh, 8, 2, 3, 1, 8, 8, 8. Whenever we use this, we can see that PHP uh, used the indexes we gave here. And every time you want to print a value, like echo names 31, this will print the value March. Why? Because we declared an array, names, the variable names is now an array, and we told PHP, okay, PHP, we've got a value, a string value, Tuan, which is going to be located in the eighth positions of this array. And that's what we also did for Bart, March, and Homer, where March is on the 31th position, which is kind of a weird position, but I'm just wanting you to show that you can choose those indexes for yourself. So you can even say, like, um, hello, as an index. Please notice this two quotes, because we're stringing this. But this is also working, whenever we say, echo names with the key hello, it'll print Lisa. So to sum it up, it's uh, it's not that hard. We declare names variable as an array by this. Notice to these two parentheses here. Um, we can declare new values inside that array by just going like this. Names is uh, foo, names is bar. Whenever we use this method, uh, PHP will generate an index just by starting with zero and numbering it up, like one, two, three, four. And we can also declare values uh, or appending values to that array by defining the indexes for ourselves. And note that we can always use, say, if we want the value Lisa, we do need the index. So when we echo names, we echo names, but we uh, give an index between those brackets to clarify exactly which value we want to use. Well, with that all said, we're going to uh, wrap it up here. Um, in the next video, we're going to discuss the for each statement. That's the part two uh, video of this, uh, of this lesson. So please check it out. Thanks for watching.